Hey guys, time for my main event review from March 20th, 2013. Uh, opening match is R-Truth against Wade Barrett. This is a non-title match here. Um, R-Truth actually gets a bit of an advantage early on in this contest, uh, but Wade Barrett does take control back. Um, during the match, uh, Miz is talking about Wade Barrett a lot and in the match they had on Raw the previous Monday night. And Barrett does look at Miz, <coughs> excuse me, uh, a couple times throughout the match. Um, the end of the match was very unique because it, it seemed like both men were in the middle. You know, like R Truth had control, but maybe Barrett was going to get a back, but it was going to go back to R Truth. Barrett d takes his arm uh, uh, to the middle rope and he clotheslines R Truth on the throat on the top rope, and then he gets his elbow pad ready, hits him with the bull hammer. One, two, three, Wade Barrett gets the win. After the match, he gets on commentary, says some derogatory remarks, pushes the Miz down in his chair, and then Miz and Barrett fight, and Barrett leaves the ring. So after a video package on Triple H and Brock Lesnar's contract signing for WrestleMania, they talk about the six-man tag, and if Big Show would join Randy Orton and Sheamus. Uh, Sheamus was interviewed by Matt Stryker, Excuse me. And I loved the ending to this. This was funny, I thought. Um, Seamus goes, as far as if we're going to pick Big Show as our tag partner, well, we're going to pick him when she fly out of me arse. Okay. Uh, so the next match is a Divas tag match. Alicia Fox and Oksana against Natalia and Layla. Now, during... In between the introductions, because Alicia Fox and Oksana come out first. And then they come back and they show Alicia Fox and Natalia in Rwanda for the uh, Nothing But Nets campaign to help uh, the, the people in Rwanda and throughout Africa fighting uh, mosquitoes and getting mosquito bites. So after Natalia comes in, Natalia and Layla, Alicia gets on the mic and how, and she says how going to Rwanda was a, you know, an experience of a lifetime and she mentioned how Natalia throughout the tour talked about great Kali talked about his head his hands his toes his ears his ego and Natalia got mad and we get the tag match um it was okay nothing to really brag about um the end of the match does come when Natalia locks in the sharpshooter on Alicia Fox and Alicia taps out, so the team of Natalia and Layla get the win. So then we go to our final match of the night, uh, the primetime players against the Usos, and this match got a long time, and I was really surprised that it did, considering, you know, the, the, the last couple of episodes of Main Event, they've been hyping up WrestleMania. They've been hyping Cena Rock, Punk Taker, Lesnar Triple H. And you give the last two segments of the show to this tag match, which I'm happy for. Because um, I am a fan of the primetime players. And the Usos, they're starting to grow on me a bit. Um, Usos get the advantage early on in the match, but the primetime players get the advantage back, and it does drag a little bit. But uh, eventually the Usos do get the win, with the big splash from the top rope, they get the three count and the victory over the primetime players. And that is your review of main event. Excuse me. All in all, ugh, this show was okay. I mean, there really weren't any main event talent on this show. Um, I mean, like, no Daniel Bryan, CM Punk. Sheamus was in an interview. That's all he was in. Um, but, you know, the matches were okay, really nothing to brag about, um, and it's just an episode of Main Event that got caught on the road to WrestleMania, so, that's, that's my thought on that episode of Main Event, uh, as, at this point in time, we're inching closer and closer to WrestleMania.